In this video, I'd like to show you how to sweep in the vise to the travel of the x-axis of the table. The very first thing you want to do is make sure that the table is clean. You don't want any chips or burrs on the table. Those are the two enemies of the machinist. Anything that is sitting on the table, if it's sitting on a chip or is sitting on a burr, that has thickness and that could be actually jacking up one side of the vise or the other. So wipe it down with a paper towel and it's not a bad idea to use a stone and just go over it lightly just to get any burrs off. After you stone the table, make sure to give it a good wipe down just to make sure there's no abrasives left from the stone. You also want to make sure the same thing is done to the bottom of the vise. Blow all the chips off, wipe it down, make sure there's no burrs. So when I put the vise on initially, what I'll do is put my thumb down in the T-slot, but I will line up the back side of the slot on the vise with the edge of the T-slot. And I'll do that on the other side as well. This is a good way to get pretty close. It generally gets you within ten thousandths of an inch just by feel, and that's well within the range of a dial test indicator, so it just makes your job a lot easier. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten down this nut. This is on the right side of the vise because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, feel free to do it the other way. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to tighten down this nut all the way, as tight as I'm going to make it. The other side will be snug, maybe about half as tight as this one. That's going to allow it to pivot on this one and move on the opposite side. So here's the left-hand side of the vise. And again, I'm just going to put that in there. And I'm going to make this one about half as tight as the other one. I want it snug so that everything doesn't move too much when I tighten it up the rest of the way. So I'm using the same dial indicator setup that I used for sweeping in the head of my milling machine. Uh, just like in that, you want the stylus of the dial test indicator to be about 10 to 15 degrees away from the surface that it's indicating, just to make sure that you don't get an angular error in your reading. So you can see I have the tip of my indicator positioned over the corner of the vise on the side that's just flat out tight. I'm going to zero it on this side every single time. So I'm moving my y-axis handle in order to zero my indicator. And I'm just going to move it down to the 15 at the bottom of the dial. One important note, this is an interrapid indicator and it moves in the opposite direction of pretty much every indicator out there. The needle moves counterclockwise when the indicator is getting tightened, when it's getting more contact. Every other indicator moves clockwise when you're getting more contact. The important reason for knowing which way it moves when it tightens is right now. I'm going to move to the other side of the vise now. And we're going to see if we're touching more or less on that side. So right now you can see we're touching just slightly over two thousandths less. We're not touching as much over here and we need to make this side of the device move towards us. And we're going to do that with some love taps with a dead blow hammer. This can get tedious so I'm going to fast forward the video but first I'm going to just let you know what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our original side, we're going to re-zero and then we're going to keep moving back and forth and all of our adjustments are going to be on this side of the vise. I'm going to make a quick note here. If you have a power feed on your x-axis, don't use it to move back and forth across the vise. It has a tendency to make the indicator twitch and then you lose where your zero is. Okay, so I've got that pretty much right on the money, and I'm going to go ahead and tighten up this other bolt the rest of the way. Now you should know it's going to move on you when you do this. Probably not much. If you've got this snug enough, even though the indicator will move, it'll still be zeroed from side to side. 
There you can see it moved almost a thousandth of an inch. So now we have to go back to our original zero and just check to see if the vise moved or if it was just the table moving under the force of tightening that nut. And it did move just a little. You should be able to give it a bit more of a love tap. All right, and we're right back on the money. It's usually possible to refine it. You just have to hit it a little bit harder once both bolts are tight. Generally, just get it close with one somewhat snug and the other one really tight. You shouldn't have far to go at the end. Anyway, I hope this clears up any questions you might have about sweeping in the vise, and I'll see you next time.